Welcome back to another 30 day short bus build video and today is day 19 of the 30 day short bus build and as you've seen we kind of set our goals for the day uh, which I like to kind of do so I can have like a you know kind of a goal on the horizon for the day and today our mission is to I want to get struts uh, put on the bench seat door lid thing so that it'll kind of hold itself up when you open it and I want to get a handle so I can get at it. I have a lagoon table, a lagoon table mount that you can, so you can use this as a desk, thing like that. And I want to get that mounted. I want to get the table cut and I want to get the cushions cut for the bench seat. So that way I use a seamstress and she is amazing. She's done the Vin Diesel upholstery. She did the upholstery in the last 30 day build. Like she's very good. I could never sew that good. Like, she's been doing it a long time. I pay her, it's worth the money. I couldn't really give her dimensions because I didn't know exactly what the dimensions of the cushions were going to be on the bench seat till I built it. Bench seat is done. And with this being day 19, we're coming to the end of the month. Getting those cushions cut is priority today. If nothing else happens, that needs to happen so that I can contact her and get her up here to... So she's sewing all of the curtains for the whole build and she's sewing the cushions for the bench seat. So they're not going to look janky, they're going to look super professional. That's our goal for the day. Jaylena is in town at a doctor's appointment so she won't be here today or during this video at all. And she should be back tomorrow. So she'll be in the next video. So that's our mission for the day. This is day 19. I'm excited. You can kind of see the bus is really taking shape. You know what I think might be really cool? I'm going to take you up in Minion so you can kind of see where it started because it's the exact same bus. That might be kind of cool, not really relative. But by the end of this video, you're going to learn how to mount a lagoon table and you're going to learn how to cut upholstery foam. So stick around and let's get into the day. Yo, that's what Bussy looked like before we started the build. This is the exact same bus as Bussy. This is Minion. This is my personal build that I'm doing next. I just thought it might be kind of cool at this point uh, to kind of see where it started. You know, it started exactly like this. Throwback. All right, let's, uh, let's get into the build. about to put these struts in I kind of got them like kind of mounted not mounted but kind of put together uh, I'll put a link in the description of the struts I'm using and I guess we'll both find out if they work out but now that I'm thinking about it so once I put these struts in it's going to stay open like this right uh, we, we basically I think we need to do the lock so you need so if you look so this has struts right and then the strut keeps it open but this little locking mechanism cabinet latch lock whatever holds it down from just opening by itself uh, so I think we need to actually probably put that in and maybe the handle first so that when we do put these struts in it's not going to be hard to mount that because the lids just want to stay up. So I'm going to go get that hardware and then we'll come back and we'll start trying to figure that out. We got our cabinet lock deal. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description of the one I use. I actually use these in the last 30 day build. They're very strong. I really like these. And then I always use spac screws. Half inch spacks uses for all kinds of stuff. So this is what I'm going to attach this with and I'm going to do that right now. Show you this 
little hack I think I just figured out. So I set the little de oops. I set the little deal in there, right? Let me show you. So I just set it in here like this, right? I'm gonna close this on it a little bit, right? And you see how you can see it right there? I'm gonna take needle nose pliers, grab that, pull it up so it's lined up perfectly and then tack it in. Let's try it. give you a little bit of build advice here sometimes you may have something to do that you're not sure how to do it and it keeps you from trying right like I had no idea how I was gonna figure that out thought I had an idea I didn't sometimes you just gotta just start trying and you'll figure it out as you go you know I call fighting the fight so if you don't know what to do don't sit around and just you know figure you know try and keep it keep let that keep you from trying just try it fight the fight we got it in don't know exactly how but we did we accomplished it uh, let's go put a strap in Lock is on, strap is on to lift it. Now it's time to do these struts. Okay, I'm gonna explain what I'm doing right now. So the struts need to be one third down of the top lid, right? So I've done math and one third is right there. This is three quarter right here. That's an inch, so an inch will clear that. Now I've marked an inch right here on each side and marked down the three quarter, and I'm going to attach the top, and then I'm gonna measure my inch off the edge so that the struts stay straight, and I'm going to adjust it to open the, uh, the length that I need. That's what we're doing, let's do it. not working the way I want it to work right now so we're gonna figure this out I just went and looked at the Amazon order of those struts and it's like a hundred pound strut because so I just went and checked the other one out there I can't even compress it by hand at all uh, so I think what is going on here is they're just way too strong it's not necessarily necessary. I was just doing it because I thought it would be cool. So we are gonna take those out and then I'll either put different ones in or whoever buys it can put it in. But these ain't going in. I can't even close that. Yeah, taking that out and we're gonna move along. Next up, Lagoon table mount. So let's go get that stuff out here on the table and we'll take a look at it. never used one of these, never installed one of these, and I'm um, going over the instructions and kind of playing with it, trying to figure it out. Okay, after playing with that lagoon mount for a minute, I've decided I'm going to cut the cushions first so that I can sit on there, see exactly where I'm going to end up on there as far as my back and all that stuff, so I can mount it according to what I think. Oh, I thought that was a bus. So I can mount it according to what seems most comfortable to like work at. So. We're going to switch gears and now we're going to cut a cushion. Okay, that is our upholstery foam that we're going to use for the cushions, okay? And what we're going to do is I did this little clean slate thing down here 
So I can lay the cushion out on that. Then we'll go in, we'll get our measurements, and I'll use a knife, and I'll show you what knife we're, knife we're gonna use to mark and cut our custom cushions out. So let's open this up and lay it out here. Okay, so I just went in the bus and I got my dimensions. I wanna kinda talk you through what I'm deciding, right? I was planning on doing a four inch cushion here that would sit right here, go up, and then have this be the rest of the cushion. I decided not to do that because 24 inches is enough for one person. And if I lose that four inches here, that only makes this about 18 to sleep on. So I think what I've decided to do is do 24 inches on the bottom and then do a little pillow, backrest pillow over here that I can remove so that, and then you've got a full 24 inches to sleep on if you were sleeping on this little tiny day bed. I think I would rather have the cushion all the way on the bottom then versus split. So I'm gonna cut 24 inches by 70 and then I think my other dimension is like seven or eight for this little backrest here that I can pull out if somebody's gonna sleep on them, give it a little bit more elbow room. Now, the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna mark on the foam, it's upholstery foam slash bunk bed RV stuff. I'll put it in the description below and I'm gonna use a serrated bread knife I'm gonna use a Sharpie to mark it. I'm gonna use a serrated bread knife to cut it. Uh, I'm just gonna time lapse doing that and I'm gonna cut this cushion up and we're gonna get it in there. Okay, I'm gonna start by scoring it, basically making one cut all the way down so I can create my groove. And then I'm just gonna press in and keep pushing it in. So, let's score it. Try and keep the blade completely straight up and down. Okay, there's my first pass. Okay, let's go set it in there, see what we think. Well, everybody, I made a mistake. It's pretty big, actually. So cutting the foam went great, right? Now, one thing you need to always remember is when you're building your benches, to subtract the thickness of your foam, which I remember doing yesterday, or thinking in my head yesterday. Make sure to subtract four inches for your foam when you cut this bench seat, Isaac. Went through the whole day, everything went great, bench seat got done, and I forgot to subtract the four inches. So now what happens with the cushion on here, My your feet your, are not even touching the ground. They're just sitting up in the air. It's not good. Whoever buys this bus is gonna spend more time on this bench seat than anywhere in this bus when they're in here chilling, doing things. So it's like, I can't let it go. You know, I, I was questioning myself, could I just let it go, but I can't let it go. I'll do a clip and I'll show you what's going on with that. But I gotta take this seat out and I gotta cut it down somehow. Huge mistake. But I wanted to share that with you guys so you can see this isn't just knocking it out, you know. But, so yeah, here we are. Let's go fix it. Start it up.
way more comfortable. You can sit back, chill, no problem. And then you can throw this out of your way. Uh, you could have somebody sleep uh, right here. Okay, couch is all done. We're gonna go bring the lagoon table in and we're gonna get that table mounted and made. That's gonna be the end of our day today. Let's get that table in here. right here we'll be chilling and if you need to do some work you get your lagoon mount table and you can adjust it up and down and you could comfortably work here for hours and then when you just want it out of your way that you could just push it over here into the door area where nothing's really there anyways and then you have your whole open space to do whatever you want. If you want to serve food out of here, bam, you got a little table out the door. I think this is the perfect spot for this table. I kind of like it a lot. I think I'm going to do it now on my bus. Look at that. You got a little desk over there. Boom. It's completely out of your way. You got more space. You could be setting stuff inside the bus. Bam! And this thing will completely come off and you can stick it somewhere if you want. You know. Or, you know, you just leave it right here when you're driving and just make sure it's locked. Bam! Alright everybody. That is the end of day 19 of the 30 day short bus build. Just to recap what we did today, we got, well, we had to cut the bench down. Let's get over here so I can show you more. We had to, we had to cut the bench down so that you could sit there comfortably. And we cut the cushions back there. We mounted the lagoon table. I added a second mount back there by the in the bed area so that you could have the have a second table back there working in the kitchen or just have a table to watch TV in bed. Two mounts there, there. That's what we got done today. That's the end of day 19. Hopefully you guys learned something. And Jaylena will be back tomorrow. And I think I'm not sure I'm gonna start wiring tomorrow. I don't know yet, but I know wiring's coming quick. So if you like uh, learning how to build buses, you like Bus Life Adventures, make sure to stick around. This is Isaac signing out. This bus is almost done. It will be done by the end of this month. Subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. We'll see you in the next one. I'm going to start cleaning up, and then I'm going to get something to eat. So good night. Peace. Bye.